Good evening, Millennials. Um, we got this orange vanilla Coca-Cola to try. I thought I'd try it. This isn't like a retro thing they're bringing back. This isn't like Pepsi Clear. This is just a thing. I'm not sure who asked for this or if anyone asked for this. So I can't say Oh, this was such a long time coming. I'm so glad Coca-Cola listens to their dedicated users. Anyway, um, we're going to try this orange vanilla Coca-Cola. It says orange vanilla right on the bottle. And uh, I'm going to tell you what I think of it. Nice hiss. Alright, I'm getting a lot of orange. Interesting. That's sort of just a... That is a, that's a strong artificial vanilla. Um, and kind of the, you know, what you'd expect of Coca-Cola. Although it's not, there's not a ton of Coca-Cola flavor coming through for me. Uh, yeah, and then sort of a vague citrus. If you, if you didn't really tell me it was orange, I wouldn't know. Uh, definitely different. It's, it's distinct from, like, lime. Coca-Cola, if you've ever had that, although I think they only make diet lime. Uh, it's not dissimilar to the blood orange diet Coke that they have, if you've tried that, um, which I would recommend. It's quite good. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit, um, it's, it's not as dark as Coca-Cola. It's probably hard to tell on video, but you can see through it a little. It's kind of like, uh, sort of like, I don't know if you've tried that cinnamon Pepsi that came out last year. It's a little, it's a little like that. It reminds me a little bit of that. Um, yeah, that is, it's sort of an artificial citrus. I mean, maybe there's a little more orange coming through. It's a bit, it's a bit like emergency or like an orange airborne. If you, if you have any of those, just kind of a vague effervescent citrus flavor. Uh, yeah, it's not half bad. Um, it's not quite what I'd want if I was grabbing like a pizza or something. Not quite that. Um, but I mean, you know, it's, it's all right. It's got this orange label. So I don't really have anything else to say about this, but I'll tell you an interesting story about Fanta. Yeah, Fanta. So Fanta is uh, an orange soda, although it comes in more flavors now. Originally, it was just orange flavored. And it's, it's very distinctive. It's an orange color. And uh, Fanta was actually manufactured by the German division of Coca-Cola during the Second World War. See, due to a lot of trade restrictions during the Second World War, the Coca-Cola company, based in America, could not get their soda to certain European countries, uh, their, their cola syrup. Bear in mind, it's only manufactured in a couple places in the world. Um, they couldn't get it to Germany, though. And so the German Coca-Cola division, even though there was a war going on, they didn't really know what to do. So they came up with a new kind of soft drink called Fanta. That's what it was. And that's the origin. A lot of people, a lot of people associate it with, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it can certainly seem more like a, a Spanish thing. I think a lot of people assume it's it's from predominantly Spain, but it's actually not. It's from Germany. 
Uh, although it's not manufactured as much in Germany anymore, Coca-Cola is the regional favorite of Germany today. But interestingly enough, that's where Fanta came from. And again, Fanta is made and bottled by the Coca-Cola Corporation. 240 calories per serving. Um, and a serving size is one bottle, which is about 20 fluid ounces, 591 milliliters. So you're getting about 240 calories per bottle. Uh, for some of you, that might be a bigger deal than it is for me. I don't know if it's something <laughs> it seems more bubbly than normal Coca-Cola I don't know if that makes sense but it seems a little again 57 milligrams of caffeine per 20 fluid ounces okay so I guess that's yeah that's about normal and, by the way, 65 grams of sugars. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not horribly impressed. Um, overall, my rating. I would give this a solid... I would give it a 6 out of 10, with room for improvement. Uh, I think if they toned back on the vanilla, it was more of just a hint of vanilla. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure why they made an orange vanilla Coca-Cola. It seems like they could have just gone for an orange Coca-Cola. Yeah. 6 out of 10, with room for improvement. That's my rating.